Brent Venables and the Oklahoma Sooners are in position, very good position, for another top 10 recruiting class for 2025. Uh, we got a commitment over the weekend that I haven't had a chance to talk about, but we're going to talk about him today, plus some other little things. Uh, but first, can I hit get you to hit that red subscriber button turn on your post notification bell that way you won't miss any any content that i will be uploading in the future and can you give me a like and a comment in down below that way it's little things like that for content creators like myself it helps push the algorithm of youtube and it gives me something to do to chat it up in the comments with y'all so uh this weekend we got a uh got a uh according to uh on three he's a three-star recruit but if you look at rivals he's a high four-star and that is marcus wembley out of boxside arkansas now i will admit uh i've kind of taken my time uh putting out this video because i went and uh, I wanted to watch uh, some of his highlights and everything. That way I could give you my two cents about him. Plus, when we first announced it, or when it was first announced that uh, Marcus had committed to Oklahoma, it wasn't because of his star rating or where he was from, but he slipped under the radar on me, and the excitement wasn't there. So what I did is... I'm on uh, Jay and Unfair Sports Discord where they got a lot of, there's a lot of guys on that Discord that are uh, very, very knowledgeable. And uh, so I put out a thread uh, uh, kind of like, I'm not excited. Why should I get excited? So uh, Jay put it into perspective for me. And uh, thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. And he's, uh, they said uh, from people who commented on my uh, on my thread, they said that he at the UA camps and all that he just he just shined like like new money. And then Jay replied to my comment, and here's here's some of his attributes of Wembley. He's six one, two hundred pounds, runs a four four forty, uh, which the, uh, he's I think that's Pro average Jay was talking about, which is 3.97. Vertical leak, 38.6. Broad jump, 10.4. Top speed of 21.65 miles per hour. That is trucking. And according to another uh, uh, YouTuber I watched earlier today, uh, he is benching what defensive linemen are benching 325 pounds squatting 415 now the thing about uh marcus wembley is is he's a he's a multi-position athlete they got him listed as athlete but he's coming in as a safety um he's played offense and defense there at a box site high school or whatever high school it is there in box site. I'm just using that as reference. But uh, when he was on offense, he had 1,300 total yards of offense. And then when he was on defense, he had 71 tackles, one tackle for loss, two pass breakups, one interception, and one fumble recovery. Now, what this is, he's got the body. That's going, I mean, once he gets on campus and gets to the Smitty workout, I'll give you an example. David Stone, been there since uh, he got on campus right after uh, uh, signing day when they put, put pen, pen to paper. He's already at 297 pounds. Three pounds shy of 300. So if you look, look at him, Marcus Wembley at 200 pounds. By the 
time he gets on campus and gets to the Smitty workouts and get to the uh, with the nutrition program and all that, you're probably looking at a solid anywhere from 215 to 220 pound player. Now, according to Ty on uh, unfair sports or not unfair sports around the table sports that I that I watched, he said he's a headhunter. And that proved true when I went back and watched the videos. If you're if you're uh, in the run game or running the ball, he's going to be very, very disruptive, very disruptive. So that's got me excited bringing another safety into this already talented safety room that we've already got for the 2024 season. So I'm excited now. And Jay, I thank you so much for giving me these numbers on your Discord uh, the other day and then listening to Ty on Around the Table Sports and then, uh, and then me actually watching some highlights yeah i'm excited now uh and you gotta thank hey brandon hall and jay belay is bringing in top top quality prospects into that into that uh secondary room and like like the uh, ticker on the bottom since brent, brent venables inherited the ou program he's whether it be the transfer portal or recruiting cycle we've been in the top 10 so it i'm excited now especially after after seeing him uh, in his highlights marcus wembley so brent is if there's any questions about about bv he's recruiting at a very very high level and we got a two announcements tomorrow uh with uh trent wilson and uh mike hawkins little brother malik we land those two fish you're looking at and then with what other crystal ball predictions we've got coming into our into our 2025 class this this will very easily easily be a top five class Get you excited, don't it? What I would like to see now, I'll admit, defense, that that's my favorite uh position of the ball. So when we get defensive recruits, especially on the D line linebacker, I I'm pumped. But what I would like to see is uh Bill Bedenbow finally landing some of these big fish on the offensive line. Now I'm not throwing any shade at Bill. Mm -mm. He's already put too many recruits in the pros and they're making money winning Super Bowl. So I'm not worried about that. I, I would just like to see some bigger fish, but we all know Bill's, uh, Bill's forte in, in big Bill we trust. But yeah, with the with these two announcements coming tomorrow with uh, Trent Wilson and Malik Hawkins, we've got to get we have to be excited. And from what I've read through the through the tea leaves and everything, it looks like that these two guys are solid locked in to OU unless somebody throws a bigger bag at them. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's do a lot of praying that we land these two tomorrow. And uh, so, like I said, y'all hop down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. Uh, I answer everybody, everybody who makes a comment. I will, I will uh, comment with you. Uh, we're at 269 subscribers as of now. And guys, I can't thank y'all enough. And I really do appreciate y'all taking the time to uh, watch my videos when you like them just subscribe to my channel or share them that's really appreciated to me because I didn't think my channel would do this good and I really do appreciate 
each and every one of you. Y'all, it does not go unnoticed. I promise you that. So with that, we're going to jump out of here. This is the legend. Take care of yourself. Don't say nothing that you can't take back. Y'all be good. God bless y'all. This is the legend. We'll see you on the backside. Boomer Singer. Through 153 games, our record was 125, 24, Ooh, yeah. four, two next. Ah! I don't know what it is to be champions.